Is this body really me? I would like to ask a question about experience. This morning, it was the assignment, you know, in meditation, meditation to allow the body to move, like as it felt. And what I noticed is, when I am sitting without thoughts, there is no impulse to move. And then I was feeling sensations, if there was any sensations in the body, and I felt tingling in my hands, and you know, I felt like patches of tingling. I didn't feel an outline of a body. And then I thought, I must be thinking, because otherwise, how could I feel or experience anything? Because, because feeling comes from thinking. That's what I. <laughs> and so now my question is, first of all, is that true? And is awakening an experience? And if it's an experience, is it unconscious thinking? Or how, uh, what is it? Is that clear, the question? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah your, your metaphysics are very, very accurate that that, um, that it is thoughts that produce feelings. And that's why in a state of, of deep meditation and deep stillness, you do actually lose awareness of the body. Not that you actually lose something that was really there. You, you simply become aware of the, the love and the light and the stillness, which is actual, which is natural. Awareness of the body and the way that the body feels is actually very unnatural. And that the, the deeper you sink into deeper states of meditation, many people have those experiences where they'll have those glimpses where they'll lose awareness of the body. Now, there's a lot of steps in spirituality because of the unconscious belief system. And sometimes, when the mind gets so caught up into intellectual defense mechanisms and you know, it's not so much, you can't categorize it as like left brain and right brain, uh, or the head and the heart. Those are very simplistic kind of uh, generalizations, and you can't, they're really, they only take you so far, because, you know, there's nothing special about a heart or, or a head, and actually thinking does not occur in the head. <laughs> so, it's, you know, there's little brain patterns up there, but the brain doesn't think. The brain's just the gray matter. The mind is not the brain, and on and on and on. Uh, but, but actually, when you, when you have used a denial mechanism of getting caught up into intellectual ideas, into concepts, um, and we'll even say numb out, you know, sometimes part of intellectualization is just to kind of numb out, that actually a step in the right direction can be to feel, feel the feelings and feel what seems to be going on with the body. When it's been like a numbing condition, that's a step in the right direction to start to feel it. There are no memories in the body. Uh, there, the body is not autonomous in any way. It, it doesn't have like Candace Pert, you know, each cell has its own individual consciousness. That's as ridiculous as each body has their own individual consciousness, which I was talking about at the movie last night. But everything about the body is just a projection. And you may go through phases where you're, you're guided to actually start to get in touch with feelings. And it's, it can be, the body can be used in that way too, as part of the awakening. But then, the deeper you go, you can go into these deeper states where Jesus actually says this in the workbook, he's, when he's talking about this deep stillness and meditation, you can tell you've practiced well by this, he says, the body will not feel at all. Wow, that's coming from the Master. You know, if you take it all the way out and you keep working with this, you won't, the body won't feel at all. Because, in fact, the body has never felt. It's just a projection of the mind that the body can seem to feel. Uh, that's part of the trick of the mind and the ego staying hidden, is it, it projects the feelings even out to the body. And then you go inward in the whole other direction and, and you actually reach these still states where there's no feeling whatsoever. Not a good feeling or a bad feeling, it's just gone. 
and those that's making those inroads. Now, along the way, you may have things like tinglings, or you may perceive like light around familiar objects, Jesus says in the Course. There can be all kinds of perceptual things and feeling things, like the tingling can be along the way. But it's just your job is not to try to judge any of that. Just know that there's like a, a process undergoing in which you're coming from upside down thinking to right side up thinking, you know, you're getting into true alignment with Source. And, you know, it's definitely a practice in the sense that it, it's, it's taking you into an inner awareness where Jesus says, the body is outside you, but it seems to surround you. And then at another point he says, there's nothing outside of you. Well, let's put those two sentences together. The body is outside you, and there's nothing outside you. <laughs> the body is nothing. <laughs> you know, and you will, as you go deeper into this experience of awakening, you will seem to lose awareness. Not that you really ever had awareness of the body, because that was part of the, the false projection and the false associations. But, yeah, that's, you're on the right track. You're on the right track with that whole thing. Welcome.